Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a gradient with nail foils. I'm going to be using this star glue. It's just the nail foil glue. You could use any kind of nail foil glue. And I've got a short little striper brush and some nail foils cut out. And these are gradient colored. They came in a little tube like that. I've got Peel Ease as my base coat. Or no, I'll be using Peel Ease. I'm so sorry. See, I see that and automatically think base coat. No, this is a gel polish manicure. You know, one of those part of my recycling a gel polish series here. <laughs> So I've put some of the little nail foil glue out on my mat and I'm using my little striper brush and I'm doing like little wisps across my nails just in the places I want it because wherever you put the glue is where the nail foils will be sticking. I am going to be leaving some of that blank and you know just so that the black polish still shows through. This is just a fun way to play with foils. Um, you know it doesn't have to be exact. It's a good thing because my freehand skills are awful. Um, but, you know, this was just a lot of fun. And I wanted to show you something you could do with your nail foils and nail foil glue that you might not normally do. And you can see I'm getting a little crazy with it. It's a skill level thing. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't have any, you know, mad freehand skills. So that's another reason why I like doing this because it doesn't have to be perfect. And I know you hear a lot of us YouTubers say that it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. Trust me. You do things like this on your nails and your average normal person is just going to trip on it that you did that to your nails. They're going to ask you, who did your nails? And you're going to tell them you did. And it's because they think, like we all think when we get started, that you know you have to go somewhere to have pretty nail art on your nails. You don't have to go to a salon. You just have to play with it at home. And the more you play with it, the better you get at it. So, there you have that. Um, I don't know about y'all, but when I go out in public and people grab my hands, they're like, oh my god, your nails are so pretty. Who did your nails? And it's just so fun to be able to say, I did. So I'm going to go in with some non-acetone um, nail polish remover because some of that glue got a little wonky on that tip so I'm cleaning it up and then going back in and straightening that line up there we go I'm liking it so you're gonna let that nail nail foil glue dry all the way now here I've changed my mind I've decided I want that ring finger to be all foiled so I'm just going over it while I've got the chance and just covering the whole nail with that glue they're all dry, and now I'm applying the foil. You try to just get it centered and flat, and then I like to mush it down with my finger first, and then I go in with whatever tool. Today I'm using my little cuticle pusher tool from Sally's. You just rub over it, rub, 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 rub over it, rub a dub dub. And then I take the other end, the actual cuticle pusher end, the soft end. That little rubber tip is very soft, so I really do like using it for this because it's, you know, to me it's just like the perfect tool for this. And then you snatch that foil off, and behind is left that beautiful gradient. Now I did have a little piece here in the middle that I might have rubbed, rubbed, rubbed too hard, and I'm just going to try to tap some of that in. If there's any sticky glue left, it'll stick, and that's pretty good. We can work with that. And now I'm going to show you over the striped, you know, with the, where I had the glue stripes. And you just do the same process. Just mush it down and then rub over it. And you want to go all the way to the sides like I'm doing here, you know, so that the foil sticks to the glue all the way to the edges. But even after you snatch the foil off, you can always go back in and and tap more in if you want to or need to. It's been a long time since I played with foils too, so I'm really digging this. And there we go. I really like this one. So I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with some, um, and that probably is acetone. Yes, it is. Um, just cleaning up my edges a little bit. Just kind of melts that foil away. Doesn't take much. 
And as you can see, my lines aren't perfect. Nothing's perfect about this one, but that's okay. Now I'm going to top this with some Peel Ease. It is a base coat, but it is a water-based product and it keeps that foil from crinkling and crackling and looking all funky. <clears throat> I'm being sure to cap my tips. But anything that's water-based like that will work when you're playing with these kind of foils. But I'm going to seal the foil in and let this dry and then put on my regular top coat. But as you can see, it did not distort the foils. I'm going to top this with such feet today. I know, everybody's shocked. can't imagine how many people went, oh! but it was sitting out. And my posh, I had to add to it and put some thinner in it and shake it up. It had bubbles all floating in it, so I just grabbed something else to use while my posh simmers down. It'll be back in a future video, I promise. But you definitely want to, you know, seal that design in because the water-based top coat or base coat that was used as a top coat will definitely not stand up to hand washing on its own. So, hi Woody, how you doing? And um, you're definitely going to want to seal that in. Look at that. Love it. So here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon.